This is the solution to WIX 072. All right. So uh, what you need to know uh, to answer the question is that uh, you need to know that uh, that uh, the plot of uh, y is negative 3x plus 6 uh, is a downward sloping line. So it looks like that ish. And uh, you also need to know that the plot of uh, this is a parabola that opens up. And uh, so knowing that uh, and uh, knowing some algebra, co uh, college algebra, uh, that means that uh, there are three possibilities. for the way uh, those two things uh, interact with each other. One of the possibilities is uh, that uh, the parabola is, uh, you know, like way up high, uh, and the line is way down low, uh, so that uh, it ends up looking like this, and they don't ever they don't ever touch each other, so that uh, the number of intersections. So the three possibilities, and this is really concerning uh, the number of intersections. Uh, so the number of intersections in this possibility would be that there aren't any. There's none. Another possibility is that uh, if we move this line up just a little bit so it just touches the parabola just one time, it would uh, look like that. So in this case, that would mean that the number of intersections is uh, exactly one. And uh, then the other possibility is that uh, if we move that red up any further, then there'll be two intersections. <clears throat> there'll be two. So there's that, and then. And uh, so the first order of business is to figure out uh, what situation we're in. So uh, to find uh, the intersections, uh, that is to say both uh, the, the, the number, the count of intersections and uh, their locations, we have to solve an equation. And uh, the equation you have to solve is, well, you have to say, uh, you have to solve parabola equal line. So you have to solve uh, that equation there for x. Uh, so then uh, it becomes. 6 times uh, x squared minus 39x uh, minus 90 is equal to negative 3x plus 6. All right. So then, uh, you know, I'll add uh, 3x to both sides. Subtract six from both.
both sides doing that we get uh, 6x squared and then negative uh, 36x and then subtract uh, 96 is equal to 0 uh, now we want to factor that so uh, observe that uh, 6 can be factored out so that'd be 6 and then uh, x squared minus 6x uh, and then uh, subtract 16 equal to 0 and then uh, that's a quadratic that factors uh, relatively easily. So then this would be 6. And then uh, x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 8 equal to 0. And uh, therefore, uh, therefore uh, the solutions are x is negative 2, and uh, x is 8. And uh, what that's telling us is because uh, there's two solutions, uh, therefore, uh, you know, we must be in uh, this case. If there had been just one unique solution, that would be that case, and if this uh, didn't have any solutions, it would be that case. <coughs> All right, uh, so as a consequence of that, uh, the region R looks like the following. So I'm going to draw a little, a parabola that's a little bit shallow, uh, so that uh, we can make sense of the drawing. So like that. Okay, and uh, these considerations have told us that uh, this intersection must be uh, x is negative 2, and uh, this intersection must be x is 8. <coughs> Now, looking back at uh, the description, it said uh, between the line in the parabola and uh, between those two vertical lines. So negative 4, that's, uh, that's over here. And uh, positive 4, that's in between these two. So that means that uh, this shaded region here is R. So that's uh, R there. <coughs> All right. Uh, and what uh, what we so this is four, and uh, what we want is we want uh, we want that area. Okay. So this uh, this is the answer to part uh, to part A sketch the region and include the coordinate of any relevant intersections, okay? So for part B, uh, again, the main idea here is that uh, integral is signed area. Which means that uh, the integral is able to uh, accumulate uh, the the area, but uh, it does so uh, with with sine. So, uh, you know, we've got to figure out what integral is it that uh, we want. Well, if we were to do the integral negative four to uh, four, and if we were to uh, do uh, parabola. Minus line. Now, 
And you can see that uh, R is split into like uh, two pieces, the piece on the left and the piece on the right. Uh, what, what this integral would do is it would uh, take this piece on the left and uh, this piece uh, this piece on the left here and it would uh, it would find its area and uh, this would be accounted uh, positively because the green is is big, is higher than the red and uh, as for the piece on the right that is like that, it would be accounted uh, negative. But that's not we, what we want. We want uh, both pieces to be counted uh, positively. Uh, and if we did it in the other order, negative 4 to 4, uh, and instead of parabola minus line, if we did uh, line minus parabola uh, then this that piece uh, that, didn't look, <laughs> that didn't look real awesome the piece that's like that this one would be accounted uh, negatively, and uh, this one <coughs> would be accounted positively. And that's not what we want either. Uh, we want we want uh, both. Uh, counted uh, positively. Uh, so to make that happen, uh, instead of integrating that difference or that difference, uh, what you do is you integrate uh, the absolute value of the difference. So negative 4 to 4 and uh, absolute value of the uh, parabola minus the line. But uh, the problem there, I mean, uh, well, it's not it's not a problem. It's just a, an obstacle to overcome is that uh, when you use absolute value, uh, that means, uh, uh, so this means that we can't use the, the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, at least uh, we can't use it uh, directly. So what we have to do is we have to, you know, understand the way we have to understand this, these considerations here, and we have to pick so that uh, we get uh, the positive version uh, on that piece, and then we'll also pick that one. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to break the integral in, into the uh, appropriate appropriate pieces. So therefore, we'll perform the following breaks. So we'll integrate from negative 4 to negative 2. And uh, to make sure that we get the positive version, uh, we'll use that one. So parabola minus line. plus negative 2 to positive 4. And uh, for that one, we want to do line minus parabola. So 
so that now after all these careful considerations, the rest of it is just uh, a straightforward uh, a straightforward use of the fundamental theorem. All right. So then uh, we get the following. So this would be uh, integral negative four to two, uh, negative two. And uh, then we want to do parabola minus line. Well, as it happens, we did parabola minus line, uh, you know, the parabola. And then when we did this, subtract the line, we get uh, six uh, x squared uh, minus 36 x minus 96 dx. Uh, and then we want to add integral negative 2 to 4. And, uh, you know, changing the order of the subtraction, uh, all that that does is change the sign of the coefficient. So this now becomes a negative 6 uh, x squared plus 36 x. Uh, and then um, uh, plus 96 dx. <clears throat> okay, so now here's two different integrals we could have done a long time ago. All right, so then uh, the antiderivative of that is uh, what? 2x cubed. Antiderivative of that, subtract 18x squared, and then subtract 96x from negative 4 to negative 2. Similarly, <coughs> that would be plus. <coughs> All right, uh, negative 2 x cubed uh, plus 18 x squared plus 96 x, and then from negative 2 to 4, and now the rest of this is just uh, calculator work here. I'll plug that stuff in. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so 2 times negative 2 cubed minus 18 times negative 2 squared negative 2 squared uh, minus uh, 96 times negative 2 okay, so double check that real quick so that's uh, 104 And then subtract. So now that exact same thing evaluated at negative 4. Subtract negative 32. Uh, then uh, that. So then now we want to do the other one. So then uh, add. Right, so now I want to change the coefficient there, so that'll be negative 2. Uh, and then plus 18x, and then plus that. Okay, so now we want to evaluate at 4. Check that. Okay. So that's 544. And then subtract. Now that uh, same thing evaluated at negative 2. Negative 100.
it for. All right, so then uh, that is equal to, so subtracting negative 32, that's adding. So that's uh, 136. And then uh, add, subtracting negative 104, that would be uh, 648. Adding those together, 784. 